Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through this Halloween Disney Rewards magazine. It came in the mailbox for me today and I'm like, oh, this is amazing because I, I went through it and there were really cool images I could use for my October spreads in October, like for Halloween. So I'm going to go through it and show you that you guys can find cool images for your journals or your junk journals or your spreads or crafts just by you know just looking for them you know in your magazines i love keeping magazines whenever they come in the mailbox for me and just so i'm gonna go go through it so i absolutely love this image in the front it's so cool so i'm absolutely going i'm definitely going to be cutting this out this is going to be like a really cool i don't know really cool focal point in a halloween journal spread i'm really excited about it and i love this it looks so pretty i love disney when it's like october time it's the best time it's amazing i love it um and then i'm gonna end up cutting out the pieces after i don't know if i'll do it on video but just to show you guys what i come up with there's these cute little images of mickey and minnie i thought that was super cute for like a little journal spread and she's all dressed up in like this little fairy costume and here's mickey as i think a vampire i don't know or bat i'm not sure but i love this it's so cool and there's these little pieces here there's images of hocus pocus that is my go-to movie for october i love that i watch it every year with my mom in october so there's these cute like i like this because i can probably cut them out and then turn them into little journaling cards and have them like put them inside a little pocket inside of a junk journal or a halloween journal i think i'm going to be doing a halloween journal and the whole journal is just going to be halloween spreads and like cool things like that so i can cut this out maybe put that in there like in a little pocket so there's just a ton of stuff. Oh, I love this image. This would be super cool. I love these little, ho yeah, these Hocus Pocus as like little mini journaling cards. Oh, that'd be amazing. And I love this. This is so cute. Her dress, so pretty. Uh, I didn't know there was going to be Hocus Pocus too. I, I want to see what that's like. But those are just, uh, there's only a few pages. That was pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and like cut some images out and show you what I've done.
All right, you guys, so I finished cutting up everything and doing everything like preparing things. Um, there's not that much, but this is really nice stationary pieces I can use for my journals or my crafts for October. And I'm gonna show you here. I have like these little journaling cards that I made. So I stuck these images on the back of some Halloween um, cardstock paper that I had. So I can put these into pockets or maybe put like paste a quote sticker on the back or an image or stickers, whatever I wanna do. Or I can just glue this onto the page and use this as a focal point. I can do whatever I want with this. Um, but these are the ones, the images. I also got some of my distress ink and just inked around the edges. You could barely see it, but it's kind of noticeable, it's black. So these are the images that I use. I'm assuming these are them, like young, their younger version. That's a cute image. I love these movie scenes. I'm, yeah, these are from the new movie that's coming out. Um, and this, I love this. This is so cool. This is The Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually have to see this movie because I've never even seen it. I don't know why, but this is a really cool image. So these are cool images that I found in the, the magazine. Here, I just cut out some of these quotes in the magazine that I found. It was like a kind of kind of like a little quiz to see if you knew um, Hocus Pocus. I, I got all of them right. I, I love the movie. So I just cut out these three words. It says lizard tongues, owl feathers, and a dead man's toe. I love these. I thought this would be like cool in the spread. And I, and I put it onto the back of um, some of the cardstock paper that I used to make the journaling cards because I thought it would give it something cute for the page and do it. I was gonna leave them as is, like just the, the quote, but then I'm like, oh, this will look like really cute. A lizard's tongue or lizard tongues. <laughs> So those are the quotes. And then I have my fussy cuts, just the images. I love these. I cut them out individually. I didn't know if to like keep them all together, but I love these. These are so cool. This is gonna be really nice in a spread. And I love the colors in this one. And these greens are so pretty. So I'm really excited to use these. I also cut out the pumpkin, of course, the Mickey Mouse pumpkin from the front of the page. And I have the little Minnie Mouse. I couldn't cut out Mickey because I kind of cut into him when I was cutting out the pumpkin. Um, and then I got these smaller pumpkins that were, I think, in the front or the second page of the magazine. So these are really, really cute. So yeah, I just wanted to do this really quick video for you guys to show you that you can get really cool stuff for your journals or your crafts um, by just looking at what you have, like magazines. So make sure to check your mailbox to see if you get any like Halloween or spooky magazines coming in because um, I'm really going to take advantage of that now because look at these images. I love these. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.